Our next tool is going to be diversions. Some traders consider diversions as the holy grail of technical analysis. Others consider it useless, while the truth probably lies somewhere in between. So what is a divergence? A divergence exists when your indicator does not agree with price action. For example, a divergence is formed on your chart when price makes a higher high, but the indicator you are using makes a lower high. When your indicator and price action are out of sync, it means something is happening on your charts that requires your attention. Using divergence can be useful in spotting a trend weakness or reversal in momentum, and sometimes divergence can be used as a signal of trend continuation. The indicators used to spot divergence are MACD, RSI, Stochastic, and CCI. There are two types of divergence, regular and hidden. However, we'll focus on the regular divergence for now and go over the hidden divergence in the next module. A regular divergence is used as a possible sign for a trend reversal. There are two types of regular divergences, bullish and bearish. If price is making lower lows while the indicator is making higher lows, this is considered to be a regular bullish divergence. This usually occurs at the end of a downtrend. After establishing a second low, if the indicator fails to make a new low, it's likely that the price will rise. As price and momentum are usually expected to move in line with each other. And in parallel, if price is making higher highs, but the indicator is making lower highs, then you have a regular bearish divergence. This type of divergence can be found in an uptrend. After price makes a second high, if the indicator makes a lower high, then you can probably expect price to reverse and drop. As we know so far, the regular divergence is best used when you are looking for reversal setups. As mentioned before, you can use RSI, MACD, Stochastic, or even CCI to spot divergences. As per our trading style, we'll be using the MACD to spot divergence using our customized strategy that we will learn in the next module. Here are two live examples. Here we have a regular bullish divergence as price was making a lower low, while MACD, RSI, or Stochastic, you can use anyone, was making a higher low. And here we have a typical regular bearish divergence as price was making a higher high, while the indicator was making a lower high. So the indicator signals to us that momentum is starting to shift. And even though price has made a higher high, chances are that it won't be sustained. Let me give you an example. Imagine you are driving your car upward, going faster and faster. Then suddenly you remove your leg from the gas pedal. For the first few seconds, the car will continue going upward. However, we all know that it's not a momentum movement anymore, and sooner or later, the car will stop and start moving downward. That's exactly what the indicator is telling you. Even though price is going up, the momentum is getting weaker, and vice versa in case of a regular bullish divergence. Keep in mind that divergence can be tricky sometimes, where the price or the indicator will make a double top or bottom instead of a lower low and higher high. Here are two regular bearish divergence examples. As you can see on this one, price made a higher high, while MACD made equal highs instead of a lower high. And in this example, MACD made a lower high, while price made equal highs instead of a higher high and exactly the opposite in case of a regular bullish divergence. These types aren't as strong as the classic divergence, but are still considered as divergences. Now how to trade divergence? Divergence is not a standalone strategy, but can definitely add more confluence to an existing potential setup. Just like any tool, divergence is not foolproof, so do not make trading decisions based on divergence solely. We recommend use diversions in conjunction with other price action tools like support and resistance, supply and demand, chart patterns, and so on. Then your trades would have a higher probability of working out. 
And regarding triggers, one way is to follow the basic rule of the DAO theory. For example, when you spot a divergence, don't enter immediately, but wait for the last swing to be broken. In case of a regular bearish divergence, wait for the last swing low to be broken downward before selling, as an extra confirmation. And vice versa, in case of a regular bullish divergence, wait for price to break above the last swing high before buying.